Loving God, we pray for the strength to endure during times of suffering and for confidence in the power of your grace. May we put our whole trust in you. Amen. The Lord began speaking. Why do you allow your present and past sufferings to burden you? Do you not know that these shall bring forth good fruit for my kingdom? Know that I am in control of all events. My thoughts were on my husband who passed away last year and how there was so much suffering for over 15 years. Observing Mother Claire taking care of Father Ezekiel brings back a flood of these exhausting and difficult memories. Those of you who have been a caregiver for a loved one understand how hard it is to get through each day. For the one you are caring for, who is in pain and agony and is totally dependent on you, and for you, as you still have to work, go to doctor appointments, the pharmacy, run errands, and stay up with them at night for as long as it takes to get them comfortable and resting, even if it's all night, and then get up the next day and do it all over again. The Lord continued, Long-suffering does challenge you to patiently endure to get through one day at a time, and I release graces to relieve your burdens and strengthen your resolve each day. Your faith was and is being tested, and so is Claire's, because as you all journey through extended seasons of pain, your character development is contingent upon your reaction to hard seasons. My love is long-suffering towards you. My people repetitively make the same mistakes, tripping as you grow into the pattern of following me. Yet your Father in heaven doesn't waver in love, compassion, forgiveness, or mercy. My word is faithful to guide you through long suffering. Did I not say? For your light and momentary troubles are achieving for you an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. My word lends a clear picture of how to endure patiently as Abraham and his wife Sarah endured when they were promised to make him the father of all nations. I allow my children to face situations that seem hopeless from your perspective. It is precisely through these difficult situations that I expand your view of me, exercising your trust in me, and that most powerfully displays my glory. When you believe and trust in me, I fight your propensity to doubt, worry, and despair during times of trial and suffering. My servant Job is a well-known example of how to endure trials. His suffering was unfair, immense, and long, yet he never lost his faith in his God. Job modeled how to come to me with every emotion and depend on my strength for survival. My thoughts went to King David, who underwent many bouts of suffering and wrote, The righteous person may have troubles, but the Lord delivers them from them all. Blessed Mother began speaking. My son is an example of how to endure suffering patiently. He was obedient to the point of death on a cross. My children, you are instructed as Christ's followers to carry each other's burdens. And the one who perseveres under trial because, having stood the test, that believer will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Those of you who have suffered a little while, my son will restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. Life will be difficult, but do not despair, my children. He has overcome the world. Your Lord is there to comfort you through injustice and is faithful to discipline hands drifting too close to the hot stove. Your lives have purpose. Suffering comes in many forms, but your God remains unchanged faithful, and reliable. Jesus suffered more than most will ever be called to endure in this life. He empathizes with your pain and weakness. You all, my precious ones, must move forward and can look ahead with hope because of who he is and his promised return.